In 1989, the Epsom Grand Prix was a match play event. So, Seve, the first one to drive. Lovely afternoon. Uh, promise of a good match. Well, that looked to be a splendid rhythm, beautifully balanced. I fancy a little bit of draw, just moving right to left, a touch, and uh, beautifully done down the middle of the fairway. Ballesteros at his best. Just let's enjoy this beautiful swing and slow motion. Watch the full shoulder turn, the poise, the head is held, the shaft just beyond horizontal. Now the transfer of weight, the way the shaft swings beautifully under the chin, the tremendous extension on and the perfect balance that makes him almost unique. And those trees on the left hand side of Sevid, you see the green behind Sevid, between the trees on the left, that's where the green is, so he can either draw it round the tree, go over the top of the tree, but one thing he doesn't want is a low skimmer. He's boomed it up and over. Looks as if it may have gone a, a touch. No, yeah, where did that land? That, there it is. Oh, look at this. How do you like that for an opening start? That's the nearest thing I've seen to an albatross for many a year. That's a two on a par five. What a way to start. Well, I just hit two wood stone bed at the first and moved to the second. Well, it wasn't an albatross, but it was an eagle. Even the swans approve. Dennis Dunning was the finalist that year, and he suffered at the hands of Ballesteros. This is the way he played right through to the 15th hole. Well, I think he'd be happy with the middle of the green, probably. Never all that far away if you're in the middle of the green. Yeah. If you're in the hole, it's even better. Well, he started by almost getting a, an albatross two on the 576-yard first hole, and it looks as if he's finished the match here on the 15th. He's four up four to play, and that nearly went in the hole for two, and it's finished only about, oh, 16, 18 inches away. There it is. 